Welcome to Tone Junkie Chronicles. My name is Scott Gaylor. I'm here today to talk to you about the Eventide Rose. This is the latest and greatest from Eventide. I am a little late to the game as far as the video end of it. I know there's hundreds of videos already on the web about this pedal. But when I was at Summer Nam, I was talking to the guys at Eventide and they wanted me to show you how to place it in an effects loop. So the next part of this video, before my playing, is going to be kind of a quick tutorial on how to put it in the effects loop, the ins and outs, how to wire it, and what the line and guitar switch does on the back of the pedal. Now, if you already know that, you can skip ahead to the playing. I am not going to go too deep into this pedal because, quite frankly, Eventide on their website has an amazing tutorial of every button and switch that they did in small increment videos with no talking, very simple, very easy to use. So check it out. It's at eventide.com. So the big thing with this that I love, it's an analog bucket brigade circuit but it's got all the bells and whistles of being digital, so you've got the controls on it. One thing is the key to me on this, and I, some people might disagree, is the mix. The mix inside the loop gives you so many options, especially when you're using the expression pedal. All the video playing that you see me doing, I'm actually working the expression pedal as we go. Hopefully some of it get caught up by the secondary camera that I just pointed at. We'll see how it worked out. But it's all done with the volume pedal. No, excuse me, not the volume pedal. It's an expression pedal. It's a Boss EV30. And what I'm doing is, so if I have, like, say, a chord structure, that was me pressing toe up and having the, the pedal react and do something cool, and depending on how you have it set up. So there, there's a lot of really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and deep dive into this and have some fun as far as playing goes. All right, so let's talk about how to hook this up into the effects loop. This is the Eventide Rose, and I'm using a Mezzo Boogie Mark V for this example. You have two types of effects loops, a series and a parallel. The preferred choice of 90% of the guitar players on the planet, at least in the ones that I've spoken to, prefer to have a series. So what happens in a series is you're taking the preamp, sticking the pedal in between the preamp and the power amp via the loop on the back of the amplifier. And in this case, this loop has an adjustable level and also a hard bypass. This is going to give you the cleanest version of the delay that you can imagine. It's also going to take cut down on some noise and allow you to do some other functions and kind of treat it like a studio recording type setup. So I'm going to start by grabbing the cables here. And uh, I'm using Tsunami cables on this, so just uh, to throw that out there. I always start in the amplifier itself. So I'm going to go from the send of the amplifier. So I'm in the effects loop send and I'm going to go to the input of the rows in this case. So see if I can do this one handed. My guess is no. Oh, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to the input of the rows. So we're going to go send to the input. Same thing is going to happen here. So now we're going to go from the return to the output of the rows. Now this is pretty straightforward. Um, this is going to be the same no matter what kind of effects pedal you hook up. So again, this is wiring something in an effects loop in series. Now what if I wanted to wire parallel or I had the option? I, I also have a Boss Waza head that I can run both a series loop and a parallel loop depending on how I want to run the effect. Well in that case, what you would want to do is to make sure that you have a mix knob and that the mix knob itself can be put all the way up. So basically, make the effect entirely wet. So with parallel, you're running the, the signal side by side. You're running the amplifier in its signal wide open, and then you are running the effect itself wide open. And by having the mix knob, you have to turn the mix all the way up or the level all the way up so you can make it totally wet. And then you blend them side by side, which is actually a pretty cool little feature. I personally, again, prefer a series loop, but that is just me. So last but not least, since we're talking about hooking up the pedal itself, uh, to hook up an expression pedal, again, I guess I'm going to have to go two hands on this. I haven't Velcroed the pedal yet, so there you go. I'm using a tip ring sleeve cable, and in this case, I'm using a Boss EV30. Uh, you can use any pedal you like. I also use a Dunlop Volume X. Both work really well. I'm using the EV30 today because honestly, it's the closest thing to me. Uh, all my other ones are on board. So EV30, this is going to allow you to control the AB morph and some other options within the pedal itself. So hopefully that explains how I'm thinking of it in terms of using the loop. Now let's see some. Oh, 
kind of thing. I'm going to move the filter up and make it a little wetter, a little more feedback. Depth I'm going to crank and rate I'm going to draw. What a difference. It's a, it's almost a thickener, kind of makes it a little darker, but thicker, kind of, again, that 80s wide width guitar. So one thing you're going to notice on the back of the pedal itself is you're going to see a level control right here, okay? And inside of it is you have a choice of guitar or line. So since we are running this in the effects loop, I'm going to recommend using the line setup. That is going to give it the, the best choice of input so you can control the level itself with the, with the amplifier and the pedal and kind of get the best, cleanest mix out of this. So you're... Let's say your broken up distorted analog delay signal actually maintains that sound that you want it to do at a level that you want to. It's basically the same as using a rack effect in the studio since you're using it in the loop. Now, if you're just going into the front of the amplifier, then of course you're going to flip it up to the guitar setting. You can actually use a guitar setting in the effects loop. I did it last night and I'll probably do it through some of the examples today. I just personally think it sounds best or most authentic, so to speak, in the line setting. So again, if we're running the loop and like we like we're doing here, we're running it in series, I would run it in the line setting.
Okay, great. Hope you enjoyed it. That was the Eventide Rose. Please go to eventide.com, go to scottgaylor.com, go to tonejunkiechronicles.com. If you have any questions, you can email me at scottgaylorlessons at gmail.com. Thank you for stopping by the page. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell, I guess. That's the new thing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Big shout out to the guys at Eventide. Thank you for letting me uh, test your pedal. Hope all is well. I'll see you soon. Peace.